Hey everybody, this is Johanna at 406consignery.com. Just have some updates for you girls about what we have going on on our new online website areas. Go ahead and click on shopper info and event schedules if you would like to know um, where we will be and when. When your consigner inventory is going to be due, what consigner drop-off dates are available to you. And if this is your first time consigning with us, go ahead and click on the first time start here link. You can select either button um, to create a new consigner account. If you already have a consigner account with us, don't worry, you can double dip using the same consigner number and inventory. So you don't need to create a new account to participate in a new city. Um, we're gonna go ahead and log in here and I'll show you some of the new stuff that's happening online. And I will click through here. All right, so everything that happens at the beginning of a sale is you wanna make sure that this information in this box is correct. This is going to let us mail your consigner check to you at the correct address if for any reason um, you were unable to pick up your check after the event was over. This will let you know when your work shifts are and that sort of thing if you'd like to volunteer. There are some really great benefits. You can have higher earnings and um, we always try to take good care of our volunteers. You girls are amazing. Um, so this is where you can register, unregister, update your info, select a drop-off appointment. This is super important. We're going to give priority to people that actually have their drop-off appointment scheduled. If you are a first-time seller with us and you want a little bit more um, help with your drop-off appointment, try to come early in the day. The later shifts really tend to get pretty crammed once people start getting out of school and stuff. Um, all right, so what we're going to do here is go ahead and click on work with our consigned inventory. This is going to look familiar to people that have consigned with us in the past. If you're new here, um, click on work with inactive inventory only if you have inventory to reactivate from the previous sales. And if you would like to start pricing things, you can click on work with my consigned items. This spot is where you are going to set your prices on all your goodies. So let's say that we have a girl's dress. We can go ahead and select that category, select the size, let's say it's from the Gap, and it's got pink dots on it. We are going to price it, I'm gonna say, let's just pretend this one's gonna be $3. And I only have one of them, so you can, this is a standard default, there's one. If you have, say, like five pairs of mittens, you can go ahead and click five there and it will automatically enter five price tags for you, so you won't have to do that one at a time. The description lines, um, if you are entering data on a cell phone, you are super brave, but these two boxes here are voice to text, so you can go ahead and help yourself out there and that will be a little faster for you. If you click check to discount, this means that this item will go half off on Sunday, which is our discount day. And if you'd rather not pick it up on Sunday when you're done, go ahead and click check to donate and submit the item. So this is going to give us a little spot that it will print this price tag for you. Um, if you change your mind and you decide you'd rather not donate it or you'd rather not discount it, you can edit this information here. However, if you have printed this price tag and it says yes it will discount and yes it will donate, then that's how we're going to take care of it at the cash register. Sometimes we've had people print their price tag and then change their mind on donating something. You have to print a new tag, otherwise at the cash registers we are going to honor that because the shopper doesn't know that you've changed your mind in the computer system and on the price tag it still says it's going to be half off. Um, that's what we're going to do with the cash register. So if you change your mind, make sure you print a new tag. Um, if you need to see all of your stuff, you can click on this button here. It will show you everything you have in the system. And when you're ready to go ahead and print your price tags, click on I'm finished for now. We're going to go to print. For me, I don't need all of them printed, so I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to go print all unprinted tags. And this is going to let me see this little guy here. So you can see we have donate and discount are available. Um, if you deselect those when you're entering your data, it will have this um, area is just going to be blank. So everybody will know that it's going to sell for $3 on Sunday and it won't go to donation. Um, if you are having um, any confusion on any of this, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook, on our website. We also have a Consigner 101 class, which is pretty darn fantastic. This Consigner 101 um, is scheduled for March 15th, but be free to connect with us at 406consignery.com or on our Instagram account, at 406consignery. Um, and the Consigner 101 is just a really great way for new and returning consigners to 
um, learn any updates we're making to our sale, any improvements, any modifications, um, and as well as it'll walk you through step by step. So if you really have a friend or a sister-in-law or whoever that you really want to start joining you with your um, consignment fund, this is a really great way to help them just get their feet wet and see how easy it actually is. It can be a lot of information when you're just getting started, but it's a really great thing. So anyhow, girls, thanks so much for tuning in. We hope to see you in a few weeks. Have a great day.